hello friends welcome back to online mass up we have this question right there on the screen so this is 6 power x is equal to x plus 72 so we want to find out the value of x that will satisfy this exponential equation okay so of course if you're new to our channel just do what to hit the like button subscribe to our channel even as we proceed in this video okay so what i'm just gonna do is to find a way to rearrange these exponents over here so that i can actually bring the figures on one side and then bring the letters on one side so kind of i'm gonna be grouping like them so the first thing i want to do is actually to multiply both sides by one over x okay so i will also do same on the right hand side multiply by one over x so that this s is actually going to cancel this and then i'm left with 6 power 1 is equal to x power 72 times 1 is 72 and this is 72 divided by x okay so next i'll find a way to remove this 72 so i will still uh, multiply both sides by 1 over 72 is equal to x power 72 divided by x and then multiply by 1 over 72 so this 72 is actually going to divide this so we have 1 1 over there so that we now have 6 power 1 multiplied by 1 over 72 is now equal to 1 times 1 here is 1 divided by x times 1 here is x okay and of course you can see that it is looking somewhat like what i want to do so it's already grouped so the one that is containing x is already at the right hand side and then the one containing figures are on the left hand side so the next thing i want to do is actually to write this one i have here so i can also write this one as 3 divided by 3 and then multiply by 1 over 72 okay and of course this should be equal to x power 1 over x so moving on according to the exponential law of indices when you have let's say e a power m multiplied by n you can also write this as e power m and then bracket n and you can also write it as e power n and then you bring out this m so provided it is multiplication it's actually commutative you can switch in the latest okay so i'm actually going to apply that here but then i can also rewrite this first as uh, c power 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 and then multiply by 1 over 72 and this is still equal to x power 1 over x and at this point i can decide to uh, put this in parentheses so i'm going to be having c power 3 and then i'll put the other ones outside multiply by 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 72 and this will still be equal to x power 1 over x so at this point c power 3 is actually 216 okay and then power 1 times 1 here is 1 and then 3 times uh, 72 will still give you 216 and this is equal to x power 1 over x so if you watch very well you're actually going to be seeing that we've got a similar pattern over here so anyway all of the points you see x on the right hand side 216 is actually appearing at that same point so we can actually uh, draw the conclusion from here that this whole thing implies that this would imply that x is equal to 216 okay so this is actually going to be the value of x and so what we want, what we want to find out is whether x power 216 will satisfy the problem we just solved and then what we just solved was 6 power x is equal to x power 216 x power 72 please this is 72 
okay so we want to find out uh, whether c is power 216 will give us equal to 216 and then power 72 with this be equal so let's put a question back right there and then we can just uh, simplify any of these uh, sides okay if we decide to simplify the left hand side um, i can actually write these two one c's as uh, 3 multiplied by 72 so since i have 72 right here okay so i want to find out whether this will still give me two one c's plus uh, 72 okay and at this point using the rule of indices which i mentioned earlier on when you have a power m times uh, n you can actually write these as a, a power m and then bracket power n so if i utilize that over here so what i'm going to be having is a c power 3 and all raised to power 72 okay so would this be equal to these two and c power 72 and obviously c power 3 is just 216 okay and then it's actually power 72 which else which implies that x equal to 216 actually satisfies the problem we just solved so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye